Hail, Holy Mother, who gave birth to the King, who rules heaven and earth forever. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the Blessed Virgin Mary on this first Saturday. and We ask for her intercession as we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Grant, O Lord, our God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, that we may be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, learn from myself and Apollos not to go beyond what is written so that none of you will be inflated with pride in favor of one person over or against another who confers distinction upon you. What do you possess that you have not received? But if you have received it, why are you boasting as if you did not receive it? You are already satisfied. You have already grown rich. You have become kings without us. Indeed, I wish that you had become kings so that we also might become kings with you. For as I see it, God has exhibited us apostles as the last of all, like people sentenced to death, since we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and men alike. We are fools on Christ's account, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we are disrepute. To this very hour, we go hungry and thirsty. We are poorly clad and roughly treated. We wander about homeless, about homeless, and we toil, working with our own hands. When ridiculed, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we respond gently. We have become like the world's rubbish, the scum of all to this very moment. I am writing you this not to shame you, but to admonish you as my beloved children. Even if you should have countless guides to Christ, yet you do not have many fathers. For I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is near you. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him and to who call upon him in truth. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord keeps all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord. 
and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. While Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples were picking the heads of grain, rubbing them in their hands and eating them. Some Pharisee says, Why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them in reply, Have you not read what David did when he and those who were with him were hungry? How they went into the house of God, took the bread of offering, which only the priest could lawfully eat, and ate it, and shared it with their companions. Then he said to them, The Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Come, Holy Spirit, come by the most powerful means of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. First Saturdays are always a special time to remember Our Lady's role in salvation history. It was her yes that allowed Jesus to come into the world through the chosen vessel of the Father, who is the Virgin Mary. Why is she so esteemed in the Catholic Church? Is because she is the model of our, our Christian life. She is, in a sense, what we would like to be. Full of grace, full of peace, full of joy. Many people in our culture despise Our Lady. We're even seeing in this pandemic statues of her being busted and the head of Our Lady being torn off and smashed in the streets. And what I would say to this, to those that are doing that, be very careful. Because if you, in life, did that to my mom, I would be very upset and I would be, I would want to come after you. Now you're talking about the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Savior of the world, His mother who you're disrespecting. So when we think about that, it angers us. But it should drive our zeal to pray even further into the mystery of Our Lady when we look at the rosary and we look at the decades that we pray in Christ's own life in the mysteries, we meditate on Christ through the rosary. We get closer to Him. We get closer to His mother. His mother grabs us by the hand and starts to lead us. It is called the greatest weapon mankind has ever seen the power to stop wars and prayer and fasting and that rosary is key you look throughout history and how the rosary has been yielded it has stopped many conflicts in our world if catholics in this day right now would pick up their rosary and consistently pray their rosary a lot of the things that we're seeing in the world would pass away it would go away because Our Lady's protection would come upon the United States and the world. My brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. He also says that Sabbath was created for man and his rest. The reason the, the laws of Judeo-Christians or the Jews had where you didn't work on the Sabbath, it was for the rest of the people, it was for those things where they toil six days out of the week and God knows his people, he wants to give them rest. How do we rest in this current climate? We rest in prayer. It will give us the peace that we need for our mind to relax, our bodies, our hearts. It becomes, in a sense, a, a, a psychological and health issue. In a sense, if we sit down and meditate and pray that we have that time for ourselves to relax, that Sabbath, in a sense. And not to do that on Sunday, but to do that maybe 30 minutes a day. To let ourselves relax in the arms of the Father. 
in the arms of our mother. This is what the faith is about. It's for the people. It's for, in a sense, their interior life. What goes through our mind, what goes through our heart. We see the world today, we see a great emotionalism because the truth is not set in our heart. So we're often fashioned to react to lies that come about through our mind or through the voices of others in our hearts and in our society. And what we do is we, re we react through emotion. My brothers and sisters, how we stop that is a good dose, dose of pray, prayer. It's the rosary, it's Holy Scripture, it's the Eucharist, it's confession, it's fasting. Those things will bring us to the place that we need to be. And that was her promise in Medjugorje. Those are called the five stones against Goliath, which it seems like we're battling Goliath in this day. So as the rosary becomes the sling of David, don't be afraid to grab that, to hold it, to put it in your pocket, take it off your mirrors, dust it off your shelves, and hold it, bring it with you, carry it with you. It is your weapon in this day. Father, we come before you in praise and thanksgiving. We thank you for hearing us, for we know you always hear us. Consider these needs, and we beg you to answer them. Father, we continue to pray for our church. We pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our leaders in this world, in our country, within our state, within our local municipalities. We pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and a holy boldness in Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the sanctity of life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for those who serve us in crisis, our military, law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, hospital personnel. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick of our parishes, those in elder care, nursing homes, homebound, those staying with their families. Lord, that your blessing of healing would be upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for you, for your family, your friends, your circle of influence, for those that have asked for your prayers and especially the prayers in the silence of your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary within our world, our church, our families, and our own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, these are our prayers. We ask you to hear them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and also through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, our Mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. To stand and pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly, excuse me. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to the praise, bless and glorify your name. On this day we venerate the Blessed Virgin, for by the overshadowing of her, the Holy Spirit, she conceived her only begotten Son and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtue of heaven, virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together in exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabao, Pleni Sun Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Anthony and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On his day, we told his back at Mundi, Miserere no hobbies. On his day, we told his back at Mundi, Miserere no hobbies. On his day, we told his back at Mundi. Dona no bees Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of our Eternal Father. Please allow me to lead those at home in a spiritual communion. Father, through your beloved Son, you have kept your presence in the world through the Holy Eucharist. Jesus, you are present in every tabernacle in the world. Come into our hearts in a greater way. Let us be saturated by your Spirit and flood our hearts from every tabernacle in the world to give us peace, love, joy, peace, those things that we yearn for. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech thee, O Lord, of your mercy, that we who rejoice in the commemorating of the Blessed Virgin Mary, may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. <laughs>